Welcome to our 29th video with data structures and algorithms. And we're going to do uh, an example of finding a minimum spanning tree uh, in this graph here. And we're going to use Kruskal's algorithm to do that. So basically what we're going to do, the, the idea is to go through each one of these edges uh, from lowest weight to highest weight, okay, and add them to the tree uh, so long as they don't create uh, a cycle, right? Then we wouldn't have a tree. So uh, we would, what we would do uh, implementation-wise is we would uh, sort these edges, okay? We'd, we'd store these edges somehow, and we would sort them in non-decreasing order. And then we'd go through each one of these edges uh, from left to right, right, or in non-decreasing order. And we would add them to uh, add each of these edges to a tree. We'd build a tree uh, out of those edges. So uh, to start off, uh, let me get a good color. Here we go. Okay, so like I said, we start at the lowest one, and we start adding these edges to the tree. So let's do that. So one, we will add to the tree. And I'm just going to do it like this. Okay, the next one would be two, right, which is right here. So let's add that one to the tree. And so far, we're, we're good. We haven't created a cycle yet. Uh, next would be three. 3 is here, so let's add that one to the tree. Here we go. Okay, 4 comes next, so let's add that one to the tree. Now we have two 5s. We have a 5 here and a 5 here. So which one do we add first? Well, let's just say for the sake of argument that this uh, came first in our sorted list okay, of edges, just maybe because uh, lexicographically the vertices come before these two. I don't know, whatever. So let's add this one to the tree. And so far, so good. We don't have any cycles yet. And so let's go to this next five. And we'll add that one to the tree. Okay, any other fives? Nope. Okay, so the next one is six. Right, so let's add that to the tree. Okay, and that's good. And then the next one would be seven. Okay, so let's add that one to the tree. We're good there. Now we have eight. Again, there's two eights, right? And it looks like neither of them will create a cycle. And uh, lexicographically, we said we were doing this. So uh, let's just say A comes first, right? So let's add that one in here. So that's added to the tree. And we can add this one to the tree as well, this 8, this edge. Still no cycles yet. 9 would be the next one. Is there a 9? Yes, there's a 9. So let's add that one to the tree. The 10, no, 11 is in the tree. Here we go. We can add that. No cycles yet, so we're good. 12 would be next. Now, 12, you can see... If we add this, we're going to create a cycle right here. Okay? And we do not want any cycles because then we wouldn't have a tree anymore. A tree has no cycles, by the way. So we're going to skip that one. We're not going to add that one to the tree. Let's go to 13. There's no 13. 14. 15 would be the next. And we're not going to add that one either because, again, we've got another cycle right here. Okay. 16, we still can't add, right? Of course, again, another cycle, just this big cycle up here, right? If we were to do it that way, we can't have that one. 17, 18, 19, nope, we can't do that. Okay, there's a cycle there. There would be a cycle there. Uh, 20, 21, again, a cycle, no good. Same thing with 22, there'd be a cycle here. Um, it looks like 32 is the next one, and again, we'd have a cycle. So we are done. We've built our minimum spanning tree uh, using Kruskal's algorithm. It's a pretty simple one, um, and there you have it.